On this week's episode of the Build Show Network, I'm with TJ, who's the owner of Ecologic Insulation based out of Tiverton, Rhode Island. And on this episode, I want to talk about the six different types of insulation we commonly see in our market. We've got six different types of insulation here. We've got closed cell insulation, open cell. Uh, we've got a cellulose paper-faced uh, fiberglass insulation, rock wool, which is a mineral wool, and your standard um, unfaced fiberglass bats. Now, I typically use about three of these on my projects. I know, Tom, you're seeing a, a bit of variation as we are building differently and more efficiently in tighter homes. Um, why don't we go through each type of insulation and talk about the R value, pros and cons, and anything that you think um, kind of is a standout for any of these types of insulation. Sure, sure. Yeah, it's not uncommon to see a, a mix of all these products uh, at various stages of the construction process these days. Uh, the closed cell foam uh, is definitely going to be at the higher end of your insulation spectrum. You've got a highest R values per inch coming at 7.2, and we can customize that depending on the, the demands for the project. Uh, common applications are below slab, foundation walls, um, retrofitting existing buildings where we've got limited depths and we need to achieve higher R values and uh, in mixed applications and roof lines, uh, where we get the structural integrity, vapor barrier, and uh, an increase in, in closed cell at that base, and then we make up for it with some of the other forms of insulation. Um, coming down the line, then we have our open cell foam. Uh, still has a high R value of four per inch. Uh, we use, this is a, a three quarter uh, pound density foam, so a little denser than a traditional uh, half pound open cell foam. That's what gets us up to that four per inch. Um, this in a full two by six cavity, that's going to have us at about 22. Um, it still provides an excellent air barrier. A uh, little different than the closed cell, and that doesn't have the integrated vapor barrier uh, technology built into it. So that's why a lot of times they're used in conjunction with one another. Mm -hmm. uh, going down the line, we have uh, a dense pack cellulose application. Uh, in new construction, it's blown in behind the netting. Uh, in this example, we cut out a piece just for uh, a visual to see what the product looks like behind it. A uh, lot of interest in this in some of the, um, uh, the passive house and, and like ultra green building community, uh, largely due to its, its high recycled content. It's 99% mm -hmm. recycled mm -hmm. newspaper. It uh, does not provide a, a vapor barrier or air barrier, so sometimes you will see it in, uh, used with it, something like a smart membrane or poly over the top. Mm -hmm. We got that smart membrane over here. We'll get into that in a minute. Correct, yeah. Uh, this is a, your, your run of the mill um, craft based fiberglass, you know, tried and true, been around for a long time a in long the building time. industry. <laughs> uh, gets us where we need to be with an R value, uh, does not have any air barrier qualities. The craft facing does provide uh, a vapor barrier. Uh, but it's a, it's, you know, if, if you want to refer to the, the SIGA and smart membranes as, uh, as, as, as smart membranes for moisture management, this would be uh, somewhat of a dumb membrane in that <laughs> it uh, <laughs> just provides a moisture block in both directions. It uh, doesn't really manage moisture, just, right. just stops it, right. uh, for better or for worse. Um, the, the, the craft face and the unface, uh, they have a lot of popularity as a, a value insulation option as well. Uh, they tend to be at the lower end of the price range, um, so you, you, you hit your code standards at a, at a decreased price point. Sure. Um, mineral wool functions similarly to the fiberglass in that it, it doesn't provide the, the air barrier or vapor barrier qualities, but it does have uh, some interesting attributes just as part of the manufacturing process. It's naturally fire resistant, water resistant, um, it does install a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer. It has a, a higher density than the fiberglass, which allows it to compress, but then its flexibility expands back into place and you end up with a much tighter seal around the, uh, around the edges of the mm -hmm. product. Um, and, and so the, and the mineral wool that's in here right now, this is by Rockwool, um, is an R23, correct? So every other bay on this mock-up is a uh, 21. So just the fact alone that this for a two by six wall assembly for the depth, you're getting that extra two uh, in the R value, right? Yeah. 